episode's TikTok liberal is a supposed science teacher basically trying to explain gender. This is an easy one. We say that there are more than two genders because there are more than two genders, like a lot more. Remember, gender is a social construct. It's a set of behaviors that we consider appropriate culturally for different sexes. It's something that changes from generation to generation, if not from person to person. But even if you want to just pin that down on biological sex, that's not a binary either. You can't just say you're either XX or XY. There's a lot of variation there. There's XXY, there's X nothing, there's Y nothing. But even if you want to write that off and say those people are just statistical outliers, even if I grant you that, there's still people. So who are you to tell them what they are? Plus, remember, chromosomes are made of genes, like the genes that give you the hormones, give you the body that you have. But those hormones don't do anything unless they have the right cell receptors to bind to, which are controlled by a totally different set of genes. So you have two long gene pathways, both of which are subject to variation. The point is, it's just easier to admit that gender is a spectrum, rather than trying to cram 8 billion people down into two boxes. <laughs> Based as fuck, incorrect as fuck, by the way. Like, science agrees with everything he fucking said to the T. Like, there is no... It's not binary. It's quite literally just a spectrum of things. So, first of all, this guy is starting out on a losing premises, to be honest. Because he's starting off with the whole social construct idea. I'm so tired of hearing social construct, social construct. The fact that this guy is considered a person at this point in time is a social construct in and of itself, I'd like to point out. Like, that's what kind of what it is. Like, slavery was a social construct. Like, it was all based on social constructs. We moved on. If we had kept, like, what was, quote, natural, he would not be allowed to be on this program right now. They say it over and over again for so many things. But this is what gets them in this trap that they cannot get themselves out of. Because the thing is that what this guy... The only people who are mad about social constructs being a thing are people who don't understand what they are. Like, seriously, look how people were treated 100 years ago compared to now. A lot of social, um, social constructs change over time as well. It's not complicated. It's not that fucking, it's not rocket science. I was talking about it saying, well, there's factually just more than two genders because of these, the XXY chromosomes. Oh yeah, by the way, XXY, that's a syndrome. Like, that's an actual scientific, like, anomaly that's a, that's diagnosed as such. Not its own gender. So you're claiming it doesn't exist while also saying it does in fact exist. There's not a brain in here. If you smacked it with a bit of wood, there would be a dull thud. And then ringing coming from both ears. It's not what that is. It doesn't have a name. It's a syndrome. Like, it's, it's, there's a problem. How can it exist if it doesn't have a name? He, he doesn't know what, how words work. There. And it's only a problem because you have to accept and understand the actual biological fact that there's only male and female. That is supposed to be the case. Factually inaccurate, by the way. There have been civilizations throughout the world who have had more than two. Case. But the thing is, is that these guys, the people on the left, they're never talking about these anomalies that like are legitimately intersex or something. They're not talking about the, the, the point zero 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 one people that are born that way. They're literally telling... Mr. 13%. I don't think you want to go down to percentages when talking about different people. You really don't want to make this argument. They're telling you that a man can choose to be a woman at any given point in his life. They're telling you that Bruce Jenner is a woman. Fact. That's what they're telling you. I mean, by the same logic, I could go on the same kind of rant and basically say, you know, uh, people that have 10 fingers saying that 10 people or people should have 10 fingers is crazy. There's plenty of people with nine fingers. So, or, or maybe even five fingers. So, you know, 10 fingers is a social construct. A moment of silence. For the brain cells that have committed suicide upon hearing that dumb fucking statement. Do you see how stupid that is? Because it doesn't make any sense. Like, the point is, is that you're supposed to have ten fingers. It doesn't matter whether some guy maybe was born without ten or somebody had theirs cut off or lost. How do you know what we're supposed to be born with or without? Like, there have been brain scans of, like, trains people's brain, and there is some science, and there is, well, some, there is science behind 
like them thinking and believing when well, I believe, but them thinking the way they do and like being one gender or the other. There is science behind that. Clearly, this guy who is obviously a brain cer- uh, fucking certified like doctor and you know the brain and how everything works very clearly with the way he's talking about fingers. And how when a hillbilly blows off one of his fingers, that's totally a social construct to blow off a finger. It's, oh my god, he's so fucking stupid. It's like, like, the science backs my side of the argument, not his. He's just mad because the science doesn't agree with him. Austin in an accident or something. That's not the point. The point is that you're supposed to have tent. It doesn't matter about this whole social construct thing. Facts are facts. Biology is biology. Science is science. Says the one denying biology, facts, and science. And this guy that's apparently a science teacher telling you otherwise isn't going to change that. Where'd this guy get his degree in biology, by the way? Where'd he get it? Fact. The thing, too, is that when you look at these people and they want to say, well, there's all these... It's, a, it's just a social construct. Because what they're doing is they're weakening the the emphasis on male and female, the importance of those two things. And they're saying that there's really actually no difference. It's something that we made up. We just entirely made it up out of the blue. So therefore, these names that we attribute men, women... Yeah, it is just something that was made up. It doesn't exist in the animal kingdom all that much, actually. In fact, in the animal kingdom, it's the exact opposite. The female animals are usually bigger and stronger than the males. It's literally just human and apes that it appears to be different. Like, he is factually wrong here when he's talking about this. Like, there doesn't appear to be any reason why, like, women are slightly lesser in muscle mass than men. Except for, like, socially, they are expected to stay at the home more often throughout history. But if you look at societies where this wasn't the case and they're about equal... You know, like, you look in the third world where women are expected to actually defend themselves, like, anywhere where this hat was a thing. And you find that they're about as strong as the men were. It's just they weren't trained as soldiers. Women don't matter. That's what they're trying to do, is basically to say it's this free and open scale and you can do whatever you want to do within this range of things. Meanwhile, they're the same people that are arguing, talking about there's some gender pay gap with women, which obviously doesn't exist if you just look at the statistics. Look at the statistic. It actually agrees with us again. It, it does exist. It's in, like, jobs where the pay is negotiated. Not hourly work, but, like, paid negotiation. They are paid far less. That is a provable fact. But how in the world can you advocate for that and on the one hand? Um, it's also based along the lines of, like, social issues. Of, once again, women are expected to stay home with the babies, not work. So they often are forced to sacrifice their career and therefore get paid less. It's it's very stupid that these guys keep bringing this up because it proves them wrong on pretty much every issue. And and then also say that it's just a social construct. You can't be a feminist and go along with this because the whole idea of being a feminist is basically admitting that there's only male and female, that there's a difference between men and women. No, that's turf talk. It's It's one of the reasons why, like, intersectionality is a thing. They brought it into the loop as it was. And women need this and that. And what- it now includes like all of all this stuff. Even like MRA shit is involved within the, the feminist movement. Like it's, it's all a big thing. It's not just like you, you can only be this or that. There's a lot of shit going into it. Whatever. So you can't just get rid of that entire idea and then also be a feminist at the same time. Because you're telling people that it's a social construct that's made up. There's nothing there. So- yeah, the whole point of that is like fighting against such social constructs. Like, getting rid of them. That's kind of the idea. So that's why it never really makes any sense to me. You can't have it both ways, no matter how... Yeah, it's obvious it doesn't make sense to you. ...how much Democrats want to try to do that, it never will work. Stop calling the Democrats left. Like, oh my god, it's so fucking stupid. I, I, I don't know how to respond to the fucking finger thing. It's still, it's so fucking stupid. Oh my gosh, like comparing... It's like comparing someone... Who sh- like it's, it's it's so fucking stupid. Trans people can't exist, and there can't be more than two genders because, you know, people blow their fingers off all the time. Therefore, it it doesn't it it's such a stupid argument. I've never heard it before.